Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Melanie Winches and I'm a local realtor in Kamloops, BC. I've officially got one year under my belt now and I'm heading into my second year. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about what I wish I knew sooner jumping into real estate. Let's dive in. So I feel like I could talk to you guys all day long about this. I feel like there is a ton of information that's um, sort of withheld from the general public about uh, what an agent does, what an agent is, um, how their schedule's created. It is literally sort of all over the place. Um, the first thing that I wish I knew sooner was that no one's gonna tell you to do your job. No one's going to tell you what she, you should be doing during the day. No one's going to tell you like almost anything. You have to ask questions. If you're lost or if you have no idea what to do, ask your managing broker, ask another agent, shadow someone. Don't just like sit on your couch being like, huh, I wonder what I should do today. You can also like set down a plan in January and like plan your whole month. Time blocking is also really important in like knowing what to do. So then when you wake up, you're like, okay, my routine is cold calling from nine to 12. Then I'll have showings in the afternoon from four to five. I'm gonna go from one to two. Time blocking is huge. And as well, the second thing that I wish I knew is that you don't need to work with everybody. This is something that like took me a long time to get used to because in the beginning you're like, oh my God, a lead, I have to work with them. Otherwise I'll lose out on like five grand or eight grand. But sometimes there are red flags to the sale and you should see it or to the client. You should see the red flag being like, stop wasting your time. You don't have to work with everyone. In the end, your time with yourself or with your family can be more important than going out to one showing that's like 45 minutes out of town and you don't really know them as a buyer. They seem sort of fishy. They're not really replying to you. Like they don't value your time. If, if someone doesn't value your time, you don't need to work with them. There are others who will communicate with you properly and it'll be a much smoother process. I guarantee you that if you end up working with someone who's like flaky, they're not gonna be like valuable to you and it probably won't work out in the end anyways. But that just might be something that you have to get through with a couple clients and then you'll realize. You'll realize that your time is more valuable. So that's my second uh, what I wish I knew sooner as a real estate agent. The next thing that I wish I knew, it sort of goes along with the first one of like not having to work with someone. You can also utilize other agents in your town and refer out your clients. So if you're wondering of whether or not you should drive 45 minutes and you're super busy that week, give it to a different agent. Save your time by, by not going out there. Or if you have no idea how to work commercial real estate, don't try to. <laughs> Stick to what you know sometimes, you know? Refer that client out. Or if you don't know how to work mobile homes, maybe if you only work like one a year, it's better to just take the referral than to actually spend all your time investing into like getting to know that. Like if you're really truly working for your client, you want them to have the best representative. And if you think that you're not it, refer them out. You can still get 25%. And that is way more valuable than all your time spent on not knowing how to do it and wondering, oh my God, uh, it, is my client actually being best represented by you? So definitely take that advice. The next thing that I wish um, I sort of knew early, and I think this is too another one of those things that you might have to learn, is that uh, not everyone is truthful. Agents, clients, white lies are passed around everywhere. Um, that's like not the best part about the industry, but all you have to do is your own due diligence. Look into everything yourself and find it out for yourself. Like if you're like, oh, I actually don't think that's true. And you're just like trusting the other agent that it was true. Honestly, don't do that. Go look into yourself. There's so many resources out there. If you have a specific question, go to your managing broker. If you need to look something up, go directly to the city. It takes like two seconds to make a phone call. So dig into it and make sure your buyer has all the proper information 
they need. So you can advise them correctly as well because uh, you don't want them coming back to you later and being like, you knew this and you didn't tell me or something like the other agent knew this and didn't tell you or like there's so many situations that could just get you into a bad scenario. So do your deal. Do, 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 do your deal. Do, do. I can't even say that now. That's a tongue twister, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? So go look into it for yourself. The last thing that I wish I knew sooner as a real estate agent, I, I would say that, you know, not everyone trusts you as an agent. And if you think clients are friends, sometimes they're not, which can be like really hurtful. But at the same time, you just have to like keep moving. So like if one of your family or friends doesn't work with you, I mean, big deal. You don't have to be like as super close to them as you thought you would. Yes, they should support you. But at the same time, you do your thing and keep moving on. There's always more people to work with. Yeah, those are the five things. I think that was five. Five things I wish I knew as a real estate agent sooner. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out and like subscribe and share. And have a great weekend.